Happy summer solstice. It's been a little bit since I did a video and I thought what a perfect day to give you an update on our garden is the first day of summer and we are celebrating by playing in the splash pad. Uh, as you can see my garden behind me is coming along nicely. I filled it out with some um, just flowers and I will take you on a tour. So this is the front. As you can see we still have some filling out to do but all of the plants that we put in here the last couple of weeks are growing and the kids are having a blast. Garlic is not doing so hot. I don't think it's gonna really come to anything. I'll keep an eye on it, but I'm probably just going to try again in the fall for next spring. Our dill is coming along well. So we've got the nasturtium that we planted from seeds, all sorts of stuff. The one that the bunny ate is coming back. So there's just some wildflowers back there. But it's looking great. Everything is getting huge and growing. Still pulling some weeds, but not near as bad. And here we go. Again, the garlic. We're not sure. I've been watering every evening, but we'll see how that happens. We've got some more rose buds. I did deadhead the rest. Our sunflowers are now taller than me. I'm so excited. The little one that I thought was gonna die, he's still handing on in there, so I'm just gonna let him be. And yeah, this is super tall. I cannot wait to see how they turn out. Also have our mysterious melon from the compost pile and then our diamond, black diamond melon. I'm just leaving the grass there. When the melons grow, they'll have a little soft cushioning to go. And as you can see, we've got some blossoms and some more blossoms in there. All of this is growing along great. Our cucamelons that were just seeds from last year already have flowers on them and they're starting to grow. There's a little tiny one just there. Our other cucumber, our English cucumber is right there. And again, a nasturtium, we've already tasted our first blueberries. Onions are going well. Again, I water every evening. They'll perk up some more carrots, onions, our huge pumpkins are growing. There's two plants in there and they already have blossoms as well. I'm just gonna let them go. If they come out of the box, that's great because we have the mulch down. Um, I've got some corn stalks, the tallest one in the back. Already has some feathers on it, or I'm not sure what they're called, the silks. And then we've got a few more coming along on the bottom. They didn't do as well as I hoped. I thought I would get a lot more out of them. I don't know if it was the seeds or what. Peppers, we still have some plants. Um, excuse me, some, looks like they need some water. We'll get them some and some bugs have been eating them. But this one does have some flowers on it, although no peppers yet. Tomatoes are coming along lovely. Every single one of these plants has tomatoes. You can see those big boys right there. There's one over there, all sorts of them. And then these ginormous ones, which I did the video of the trellis, have already shot past where I started. So you can see that. I'm gonna have to try to squidge him in there a little bit more. Let's bend him in there. There you go. So those have already grown since the last video I did. Asparagus I eat as it comes. It's great and tasty and delicious. And you can see down here, there's some more little shoots coming. Strawberries are good. Um, we've got a whole new batch of strawberry flowers on them. I'm not sure how they're gonna do with the heat. I'm try still trying to keep them watered. I see some berries on there, but I'm pretty sure the squirrels get to them before us. The garden over here has flushed out completely. Our grapes are growing. Grapes are growing. The peas are dead for the season. It's too hot for them now. We pulled all the ones off we were gonna eat and I'll pull those up and we'll sow another batch um, for the cooler weather this fall. But there's that, and let me go take you to the surprise compost pile for plants. Here is what was our compost pile, and which will be again this fall. But as you can see, it is teeming with some sort of squash or melon, something we had eaten and thrown the seeds in here. They are flourishing. I'm gonna come back here and water it since it's been a couple weeks of 100 degree weather with barely any rain. So I'll just give it a little help. But yeah, I have no idea what they're gonna be. There's a bunch of blossoms on there and uh, the bugs have been eating the potatoes, but that's fine, they can eat them back here and not my garden. So there you go. The melons, and, uh, you can hear the kids as I come around the corner. Again, our beautiful sunflowers. So I hope everybody has a wonderful summer solstice. 
So it'll be the latest night of the year for the sun being out. And I hope everybody has a safe and um, fun and warm summer, wherever you are. Bye.